you know, you 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 got to set yourself up for that heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? Having having half a man ain't shit. Having half a man ain't nothing. Because nine times out of ten, he he gonna be lackluster in something, and you still not gonna have a whole man. That just don't make no sense. I'm coming from a wife perspective, and like I said, if you see signs of that shit, women's intuition is everything. Go with what the fuck you know. If if a motherfucker can't, <laughs> I gotta stop cooking so much. Y'all. If he can't talk to you a certain time of day, and you know he ain't at work, and sometimes if you are serious about messing with somebody, investigate some stuff. Oh, okay, where you work at? Don't be afraid to ask questions. Because I hate to hear somebody say, oh, well, we was on don't ask, don't tell. You didn't ask. And I ask everything. And if if somebody get bothered by you asking everything, hit the heels running. Because, uh-uh. No, sir. You're not finna have no whole life on me. You got me bent. So, thing I can tell you, darling, for yourself, for your sanity, get out of that. The whole feeling safe or feeling wanted because somebody tripped. No. He just don't want you to go nowhere, baby. He don't want you to go nowhere, but at the end of the day, if you do, he'll be all right. And sometimes they legitimate, legitimately want to be with you. They just don't know how to let the current situation go. It's just too much comfort. It's just too much comfort. But the only thing in the back of my mind would be, because a lot of times people say, well, would you be with the man? The number one thing in the back of my mind that I would get all the time is, you gonna do that shit to me. I'm gonna get old one day to you. You know, cause I'm not gonna be around here doing no magic tricks. Not only that, a lot of people don't think about the number one factor. Everybody cool and it's always cute and it's always fucking fun. When you first get into a relationship, when y'all in that, that, that newlywed phase, that honeymoon phase, everybody's boyfriend and girlfriend calling every day and shit, wait until some real shit start happening, like the power get cut off. Yeah. Or he needs some he needs some gas money and you really legitimately ain't got it. Or you need some gas money and he ain't got it because he got to take care of his household. Oh, okay. Marinate on that. Marinate on that. You have to, you got to think about all of that. All, all of that plays in together. Yeah. All of it. Every single bit of it. It all plays in together. It's going to be some days where you're going to be reminded of your place. And that all falls into the category of being willing to accept that hurt. Because that's going to hurt. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Yeah. To know that the whole reason you can't be here for me, the whole reason I'm waking up by myself at night, the whole reason that I'm still single, but if I talk to another motherfucker, I'm going to get punched in my face type shit. That's, no, that's not cute. Public humiliation ain't cute by itself. So you don't have to add insult to injury with somebody tripping, and then at the end of the night, he got to drop you off at the corner. Nuh-uh. Or y'all got to go to different places all over town. That too. Ladies, if you're not at least invited after, i say, a fifth date, you know, oh, like, you know, come by my house. I'll cook you something, cook, cook you something for dinner. First date, me personally, I'm not coming to your fucking house. I don't know you. I don't know who you are. <laughs> no, I'm not coming to your house. So... You know what I'm saying? With with the first date, something I would definitely, I mean, yeah. by, by a certain date and time, if I ain't never seen your friend's yard and at least got a chance to check out uh, your decoration on the inside, your interior decoration, uh-uh. I'm good. We don't never have to speak again because you're up to something. You're up to something. You're either hiding a bitch or a kid. And I'm not at liberty to know about any of them after the fact. Because you have prime time to open up your mouth and say, hey, this is my life. This this was this what's going on. This who I'm, you know. And you never know, fellas. You never know what a woman is into until you ask. 
you have a lot of women that don't want you around like that. They don't want your time. You know what I'm saying? They, they literally just want to wham bam, get back in your car. That's it. Bye. Wham bam boy. Thank you. And y'all will never know that. Too busy trying to be secretive. You got a lot of women walking around out here that's cool with the fact that you got a female. Just keep her away from my house. I once was lost. <laughs> Shit. I ain't got to deal with you past a certain hour. And I was cool with the calling from private numbers. I don't think we ever knew each other real number outside the first time we talked. So, you know. I just decided that one day I wanted to be somebody's wife. And I know that. And I knew my karma would be horrible. So... I was like, nah, I can't even do them doubt. I don't wear makeup or nothing, like I said earlier, so I don't know if y'all was expecting like some sort of extravaganza, but <laughs> them edges is sleek. But that was just my little chit chat. You know, I, um, I do appreciate videos. I'm sorry, I do appreciate um, emails like that. I don't mind, you know doing like little advice videos I can get more in depth I was just really bummed about my camera cutting off because I got knee deep into some shit and I realized you ain't talking to nobody so I done gave my whole sermon now you know me and the pool pit sweating and I got to end the eulogy with you know with this but Definitely, baby girl, to protect yourself, protect your heart, get out of there. He's not going nowhere because a divorce that's wanted by two parties, even sometimes just one party, don't take five whole years, you know. But, and the fact that he's been able to keep the charade up this long, I don't know if you do anything for him financially. If you do, allow that shit to stop. Cut that shit out and see how many more phone calls you get. See how many more text messages you get. See if, because sometimes you'll be fucking with a man that know good and damn well. Hey. What she said? All right. I just love that song, but I love it. Y'all better go download it. Y'all better, better go download it. And make sure y'all go over to her page and let her know Natalie sent you. But I I would suggest highly get out of there. Get out of there. You know, you being held up from your true blessing because God has sent him his. And he just don't recognize it yet. Hopefully he don't recognize it by the time she gets up and decides to leave. You know, ho ho hopefully he gets an understanding way before then that he got something great. And I'm not going to say that he's necessarily a bad man because shit, he been able to toggle y'all back and forth for five years. And that's just crazy because I'm sure he's been with his wife a little bit longer. But if not, if not, if he been with you longer than the wife, baby, yeah. baby, I need you to jump ship. Okay, I just need you to jump. I'm sorry, I don't wear bras on my outfit. But I need you to just jump ship for you, period. I need you to pack up your saddle and go, A, because like I said, you're blocking your own blessing. Not only that, you thickening your own karma. One day, you are going to make somebody an amazing wife. You're going to make somebody an amazing companion. You're going to make somebody an amazing partner, whomever you decide to be with. But... You cannot get to that blessing if you so busy dealing with a curse. You you need to you need to go ahead and let that go. Once he get his household situation figured out, if he decides that leaving leaving is what he is going to do, allow him to do that. Then come holler at you. And not a second before. Not not a minute before, not an hour before. Don't uh, uh allow allow him to do that. Allow him to get his house in order. Okay, he need to order his house like a deck of cards. He needs to order his house. Sound like macaroni, don't it? But he need to get his house in order. His house, his house, 
not y'all house. Because y'all can't handle house until he get out of the first house. But I do appreciate you for reaching out to me. I don't know what made you pick my crazy self. But, oh, that was the P.S. part. Didn't read that because that was to me. But, <laughs> I know why you picked me now. And I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, like I said, I am looking to do more than just the Call Center Chronicles videos. Y'all will start catching um, when I do the skit comedies, the skit comedies put together because of how YouTube is set up. Me doing one and two minute videos is cool every now and again, but it makes absolutely no sense because I'm basically not doing what I need to do by YouTube's guidelines or whatever. So, I will be putting out more videos like these, especially if I get the emails, because I truly love it. I appreciate it. And I can give you advice to the best of my abilities. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to make it how you want to make it, just so you can be happy. I ain't going to just tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to give it to you raw and uncut like a breast cutlet. I mentioned okay never mind but definitely if if it's something y'all need to talk about hit me up and when I get a little bit more comfortable next time I probably won't do it get ready with me with me doing my hair just because I be OD focusing on <clears throat> Lee's edges and I really can't focus on them like that in these cameras now my my personal, my actual phone, it's got a very big screen, so it's a little bit easier for me to see it on my phone phone than on my recorder phone, because <sighs> the struggle, the things I go to for y'all. I just want to make sure that I see all of your smile and beautiful faces. I want all of you to have a wonderful day again. Make sure to go down below to the description and download the single from Adrena Johnson. Make sure y'all go <clears throat> down below and download the single. Download the single. Download the sing. But yeah, make sure y'all go down below. Make sure y'all get that single. Let her know that Natalie sent y'all. This is all that I'm doing to my hair. I done put some goddamn lotion on my face. And that's it. Until next time.